In this video, I'm going to show you uh, some simple ways to use mouse modifiers inside of Reaper to increase your workflow um, or uh, make it just a little bit easier for your circumstances. So today I had a unique uh, situation where um, my dog, which is a rescue Great Dane, was requiring way too much attention. So I pretty much had to be petting her at all times so that she wouldn't be freaking out uh, at me or tear apart the house. And uh, at the same time, I needed to edit drums on the screen. So now um, these drums are already edited, but this is just an example of what you could do. So my normal edit method is the manual mode shown by um, Adam and using the uh, Gopher manual um, macro, which I still use. And my current method is to uh, I have it bound to Alt S, so I'd hold Alt. See the little different icon on my mouse. That's um, that's actually to slip the item. But as soon as I press S, it will slice and make my crossfade. And then I hold Alt still, and I just drag this over to put it in time. And then you go to the next beat, Alt S. So that's pretty quick. But you need two hands because you need to have one, you know to hold Alt and press S, and the other one to click and move with the mouse. Now, to do this with mouse modifiers, now in Reaper 4, you would go to your Options menu and go to Preferences. And this left side here, you got to scroll down to Edit Behavior and select Mouse Modifiers. Now, the way I'm going to set this up, which you can set it up any way you want, uh, you don't actually have to use this as your mouse modifier. This is just an example of what you could do. There's all these different things here that you can select and you can change it so that either your left click, your left left click drag or whatever can do different things. So if you, for instance, this here, um, envelope lane, left click is to deselect all envelope points. So if you want to make shift do something else, you can, you know, make a action that does something you know, interesting to do with envelopes or uh, whatever you might want to do. So for the example I'm going to use, it's going to be for my drum editing methods with one hand, which I know sounds kind of lazy, but today I actually needed to do this, which I'm pretty surprised I had to as well. So to set up my editing method for drums, uh, I'm going to go to this context, go into select media item bottom half, and under the left click, I'm going to go to default action, which is your left click. I'm going to double click on this. And it's going to bring up a menu here. Now, since none of these are what I actually want to do, I'm going to open my action list. And I'm going to select my custom split at mouse cursor crossfade into split. Uh, that link is on my website. You can download that. Uh, it's also on the stash somewhere. Just type in go for split or something and you should find it. Um, so I'm going to select that. So now, as long as my mouse is below the bottom half of the media item, it's going to do this edit. Let's close that. And I also want to do for left drag, I want this to, now click left drag, double click on this to open that menu up. I want to move the item contents. So that's the same thing as me holding Alt S. Okay. Now the only other option we have is for double click. So I don't want anything for double click. Uh, let's see what we could select for it by default. Um, that's probably a good one. Double clicking the bottom half is to show the take list. So I don't have any takes on this particular thing here, but if I did, I just double click the bottom half and then it would show me a little uh, the list of just the takes. So I'm gonna click apply and okay. So now, um, I saw my my wheel mouse is my zoom, and as long as I don't select the bottom, and I select the top, see the, the cursors will change when you get to the different areas right above the where zero crossing is. I could zoom in here. I could, this is on time, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I could left click here to do my split, left click over to move, and then on my mouse wheel, I have the left and right uh, buttons, so that will do my scrolling for me with my mouse. So I can go ahead and click here and move this, scroll over, click here, move this, scroll over, click here, move this, scroll over. Let's just say, I mean, 
well, they're all going to be on the same beat because this thing is all on time ready. But, you know, I'll just say I wanted to move that over here even though I didn't really want to. Like that. So as you can see, I'm clearly editing drums with one hand right now. Well, you can't see that I'm doing it with one hand. I'm telling you I'm doing it with one hand, but you'd be able to do the same thing um, if you had the this same mouse modifier set up. Um, I'll post up that uh, drum editing macro once again um, because in case you can't find it online. And um, you can do the same kind of method if you want and see if it helps your workflow. Or if you have a dog that needs incessant attention and uh, you can edit your drums with one hand while you're petting your dog or drinking your coffee at the same time. So anyway, that's it for now. I am Johnny from Red Sneaker Records. Thank you for watching tutorials for Reaper.com.